Hey, welcome to Two Guys Garage. Today we are action packed. We're at the 42nd annual Daytona Turkey Run. Take a look around, thousands of vendors. As busy as it gets from car shows to car sales. We got you covered. Plus, at the end of the show, one incredible build right here at the 42nd annual Daytona Turkey Run. Now imagine this, it's 1973, you're out with your five-year-old son named Jim. You pull into a car show, all excited, except they deny you interest because you have a car that they don't appreciate. It's a modified. There's no classes for modified cars. So what do you do? Well, you create your own car show, make it bigger, make it busier, and turn it into the Daytona Turkey Run. Now let me explain. This is the biggest show there is. People come from all over the world and we're gonna cover it today on Two Guys. I'm talking vendors, show cars, thousands of them, a mile of vendors, and an unbelievable car sale lot called Car Corral. Now, the thing that culminates this weekend and makes it extra special is a dream build. Here's your mission if you choose to accept it. A 1955 Chevy. You're starting from the ground up. Chassis here, body here, Everything you need to build this car is out there. Welcome to the Daytona Turkey Run. And here it is, the 1955 Bel Air. They are completely building, restoring, and gonna light off at this weekend's event, the Turkey Run. Unbelievable piece of metal we have right here. How about we meet the team, the guys behind this incredible build, Paul and the guys from Classic Muscle Motors Company right here out of Daytona. Man, this is a dime, bro, it's gorgeous. All right, tell me a little bit about it. Well, we found this Bel Air in a barn. It's been stored for 25 years, rust-free okay. body, all original sheet metal on the car. All the stainless and trim was 100% original to the car. Wow, that's really a great find, man. Absolutely. And you guys have done an incredible job. Let's start up front. What are, you, what are some differences you've uh, made here? That's obviously not the original 265 V8 that they marketed as the hot one back in the day. Right. What do you got under the hood? This is a GM Performance crate motor. Okay. LS376, which is basically a hopped up LS3. Yeah, man. You know. Radiator, the core support, all different. Explain. Custom built aluminum radiator to cool yep. this thing. Condenser, obviously gonna have some vintage air in this ride. Absolutely, vintage heat and air. Love Keep it. it. Cool. Okay, man, I did notice some huge bare brakes underneath here. Explain this. Absolutely, we have four four wheel disc brakes Ooh. powered by a bare master cylinder okay. for ultimate stopping. All right, now walk me through some of the other stuff, man. Uh, this is a great piece. I noticed a lot of things, the stance, the styling, the rims. Is it sitting on a factory chassis? Absolutely not. We've changed the entire chassis, put a hardcore chassis in there it. There you go. So it has all updated tubular suspension, you know, rack and pinion steering, yeah. all the cool options. Um, have a brand new I did it steering column, tilt. Woo. That's not the original gauge cluster from 1955. Absolutely not, <laughs> it's from Dakota Digital. It's a brand new T VHX series. Yeah, man. For modern day gauges to control the modern day power plant. Now, obviously you got this thing tricked out. And again, they're building this car in a number of days. You guys started with just the, just the chassis and the body, made it those two together, and have really been building this over the last couple days, right? right? Started. First thing on 6 a.m. in the morning, and we're into day three now, wow. and it's coming together really awesome. Imagine being able to build a car, a platform like this, this gorgeous, at a swap meet. It's incredible. Absolutely. There's vendors here from everywhere, all over the United States, and you could virtually buy every part you need for this car here at the show. What's the transmission? Transmission's a 4L70E, also from GM Performance. Nice. Okay. Automatic. Now, as we walk back, what's underneath here? That's it's not going to be a 10 bolt, I know. No, no, it actually has a nine inch style rear end, okay. 31 spline axles to handle the power. Uh, we did do a two inch mini tub. That was the only sheet nice. metal change on the car to get Koi's 20 by 12 inch wheels. I love it. the Koi's rims, loving that. Now, what do we got back here on the backside? 
Well, we've got quite a lot going on right yeah, here. We've man. got the batteries for the car, obviously, the okay. Kenwood stereo system, but uh, most of all is the Ride Tech Air Ride suspension, the AirPod. Yeah, man, this AirPod is really cool in the sense that it comes all pre made, right? Yep. So you get the kit, you set it up, and basically just, whoop, just slide, slide it in. Slide in. Hook up all the airlines and slide the AirPod in, put the controller on, and we're ready to set the ride height. Man, the guys at Classic Muscle Motors have got a lot of work left on this thing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take you guys out through the Ride Tech booth. Maybe we can see some of this stuff. So you guys come with me, have fun building it. I'll see you in a couple minutes, we'll see you in a man. couple minutes. All right. All right. Awesome. You know, if you want a bag suspension, there's only one name that does it right, and that's Ride Tech. These guys have been doing it for the longest, they do it the best, and they have such a cool modular system called the AirPod. Now this is basically what we saw on the 55. Say you're at a car show, you're in the dirt, killing crickets, man, leaning on the fenders. You're ready to go. The wife's begging you for food. You just get in the car. I love this feature. It's automatic ride height on start. Check this out. Boom. And you're off to the races, ready to go. Now let's bring in one of the guys behind it, Trent from Ride Tech, my man. Dude, what a system you have here. Automatic ride height on start. You have three adjustable levels on it. Pretty trick stuff. Right? It is, it is. Cutting edge, we call it. Yeah, it is cutting edge, man. It is. So this AirPod system is really modular. You put it in anything, you put the airbags on, you're good to go. Absolutely. What we try to do is, is we try to make it as simple as we can for our customers. Yeah. And what we've done is, is that we've compacted everything in the tightest amount of space that you can and we deliver it to you with only three wiring connections and four blinds to plug in for your air corners and you're done. That is amazing, man. It's great to see that type of technology, that type of performance in a kit that's basically plug and play. Absolutely, that's what it is. See, just more proof. You can get everything you need to build a car right here at the Turkey Run. Now I'm looking for carpet, Camaro, Chevelle. Here we go, right here. There you go. Carpet for a 55. We're out of here. You might have seen a swap meet before, but none like this. More from the Daytona Turkey Run in just a second. All right, welcome back. The Dream Build is going fantastic. Again, the 55 Chevrolet they're building all right here at the Turkey Run. Now, let me show you. They got the carpet in, they have the back seat in, custom package tray back here. I love the fact they incorporated the old Bel Air logo. That's the emblem actually off the rear quarter, kind of in the middle between these two custom made bucket seats. Now, Paul, you guys have done an awesome job on this, man. Really great work. You can tell you've done that once or twice. Obviously, yes, sir. <laughs> it's all modular, snaps right in, little push, boom. Looks pretty plush, man. Do you mind if I? Absolutely. Get, get it? In. Is that Check okay? It out. All right, man. Sweet. Ah, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this is awesome. I'm a backseat builder. Whew, this is nice. Hey, can I get a water, man? You got a water? Absolutely. So, uh, what? Ah, <laughs> this is where it's at. Now let's go out to the swap meet because everything they find for this car comes from right out there. You don't believe me? I'll show you. It's enormous. Let's go. It. You want parts, year, make, model, tail lights, switches, door handles, interior, exterior, You'll find it right here. The Turkey Run has everything imaginable. It's the biggest swap meet on earth. Take a look around, my friends. This is a car guy's heaven. All right, you know, we just saw the bumpers on that 55 and something definitely banging on those bumpers, man. They look fantastic. This right is on. Steve from Advanced Plating out of Nashville, Tennessee. And proof that you can chrome plate anything. Steve, did you really chrome plate antlers? Yes. That's <laughs> those are real antlers. antlers. Unreal. All right, now look, man, a lot of times when we go to these old projects, barn finds and so forth, 
when you first see a lot of the chrome, it's pitted, it's corroded, you know, it's a lot like this right here. So is this kind of displaying the steps that you would see? Yes, so what we're doing with taking these pop metal parts, just like the grill bars and the grill on the 55 yeah, over man, there. Yeah, it was hammered, right? All hammered in, rusted, pitted. We blow the grill apart, right. strip it down to the base metal. Okay. And then we initially glass bead it and sand it. What we'll eventually do after we do get it stripped and glass beaded and prepped, yeah. it's a cyanide copper base. And then we come back and silver solder in the deep pits. Okay. And then we're able to sand this solder okay. and then we use an acid copper to cover over the repair. Nice. And a lot like a body man uses filler and primer, mm -hmm. we're using solder and copper and we block sand that repetitively, wow. just like you do in a quarter panel copper and sand and then buff, yeah. pit, pit then free, wave free, then we're ready process. for nickel and chrome. It's amazing that you are able to take anything basically and lay a glass finish of chrome on it so it looks like these pieces here, what we just saw on that dream build, which I got to tell you man, fantastic job. Right on brother. All right man, right there on. you go, advanced plating, a big contributor to our dream build right here at Daytona International Speedway. Like to buy a hot rod? Of course you would. When we come back, more from the Daytona Turkey Run and the Car Corral. My truck has a lot of miles on it. It just doesn't run like it used to, and its fuel economy is dropping. Is there anything I can do to fix it? We'll have the answer after the break. My truck has a lot of miles on it. It just doesn't run like it used to, and its fuel economy is dropping. Is there anything I can do to fix it? As your truck accumulates miles, it's also probably accumulating moisture and corrosion in the fuel lines and other parts of the fuel system. That corrosion, along with internal diesel injector deposits, could be robbing your truck of power and fuel economy. Pouring some hotshot secret diesel extreme into your fuel system twice a year will remove those harmful deposits in your injectors, as well as any moisture in your fuel system and fuel lines. Diesel Extreme has a rust inhibitor that protects your fuel system from future corrosion, and it packs a potent C10 boost to restore your truck to its original performance power. This tip is brought to you by Hotshot Secret, powered by science. All right, welcome back to Two Guys Garage, the car corral of all car corrals. There are a million cars, all kinds of flavors, all kinds of varieties. You never know what you're gonna see, and the best part, they're all for sale at the Daytona Turkey Run. Oh, mm, beautiful 66 Charger. 440. I'm not actually sure on the production number of a 440 66. I know for a fact since I owned a 66 four speed big block car, 2809 was the product number. Uh, this 440, it's rare. These cars, exquisite. Console went all the way through the back. Really unique thing a lot of people don't realize about these cars. So you open the door, it's got a fold down seat in the back. You know why? So people could put their surfboards back there in the 60s. Folds all the way down, this back wall folds down, and you can get your surfboard in. Really cool design, clever for a 66 Charger. I love it. And this price tag at this car show, 22950 Just a swipe or a right. What about, um, about 18.5? Uh, you're the third one to hit me at 18.5 today. It must be the going number. It must be going number, but I'm the nicest one. You are a nice guy. <laughs> I'll go 500 higher than the last guy, 19. I'll stick at 19. Done deal. Done deal? All right. Okay. Enjoy. I'm glad I'm I got my car. <laughs> Taking her <it> home. <laughs> On our dream build, of course, you got to have some sweet audio. We walked over to our Kenwood booth. We got everything you possibly need from woofers, amps, tweeters, and of course, some video in there as well, DVD player, all with the Kenwood badge so you know it's going to serve some lumps. Now, how about this from Totally Stainless? Can you imagine going to a, a swap meet and finding every single fastener you need for a 55 Chevy? Well, they have it here from Totally Stainless booth. I'm talking washers, nuts, bolts, everything you can imagine. And you walk over to the specialty automotive materials and you got the hush mat. You got all the wire loans you need. This is like being dropped face first in the pool of paradise. It's called the Daytona Turkey Run. I suspect you need to be here next year.
My man Paul. Got to check out this kick panel you guys did out of fiberglass. Got the speaker incorporated, a little tweeter. Great work, bro. Thank you. Man, as I look at the car, your team has been on here like a bunch of rabid honey badgers, bro. Absolutely. All right, looks like you got the trunk on, the hood on, the lights in. All the lights are in, all the electrical's done. Woo. We're actually doing the interior right now, finishing it up, hanging the door panels. So what are you working on here? We're actually wrapping the trunk panels now. Okay. And um, we're about to get ready to put those in. You guys stick around. We're gonna get the trunk pan in here. Some of these awesome kick panels that they did in-house, all right? And be back in just a couple, my man. Welcome back to the Daytona Turkey Run 2015. Everybody around to see this 55 Chevy. What an incredible job the entire team at Classic Muscle Motors Company has done. Now show me, we've got all kinds of bells and whistles on this car, one being from Ride Tech. Absolutely. How about that AirPod system? Is this the static stance? Let's see this thing this go up and down. Yeah, man, park it. All right, put let's it see on, if we put can it on it the down, ground. Now. Let's see it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. This is this is an incredible, gorgeous piece, man. This LS3, this 376, a lot of snap, man. I'll tell you what, 525 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. How about that, man? Real fast, I'm gonna go talk to the guy that made this power plant happen in this crazy 55. All right, now just a couple minutes ago, we showed you that awesome platform, that LS3 underneath the hood of that 55 Chevy. That's from John Hall Chevrolet. Now, my man Kyle here, you kind of made that all come to fruition, right? Yep, yep. John Hall Chevrolet provided the motor, um, came out from GM to support them, help them, you know, launch the show and uh, advertise for them a little bit and get yeah, that man. car going. Dude, I'm telling you, you walk out here, there are thousands of cars. Absolutely. Thousands of show cars, cars for sale, and so forth. Mm -hmm. One of the common things I've seen throughout all the cars here are LS-based platforms. That's right. Yeah, it's it's a very common motor, lightweight, high horsepower. Yeah. Um, you know, you really can't beat it, no matter what you're going to put it in. It's an amazing platform. Um, you know, like you said, you're getting the high performance out of out of the aluminum block. Yeah. It's comparable to what the big blocks were. Yeah. And so much more lightweight, so you're going to get that car to go a lot faster. Hey, man, man. Kyle, thank you so much, no man. Problem. Thank now you. Now we're going to get back and actually light the fire underneath the hood of that 55. Here it is, our moment of truth. We're at the Daytona International Speedway, all right? They call it the Daytona Turkey Run, and this crew from Classic Muscle Motor Company has been working like you would not believe. Four days ago, this body wasn't married to this chassis. The motor wasn't in, transmission wasn't in, it wasn't wired, it didn't have the RideTech AirPod system in it, nor did it have an interior, any of the stereo. I gotta tell you, man, this crew has been amazing to watch, just the cohesiveness of how they function in this condition, unreal. But my friends, the moment of truth happens right now. Paul, are you ready? My friends, are you ready? Yeah! Light that fire, man, let's hear it. Yeah! That's awesome, man. That is awesome, awesome. Well, great job, great job, man, awesome. So fellas, come here. Ladies and gentlemen, we stole this from Motley Crue. Take a bow. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys very much, man. From Daytona International Speedway and for the Daytona Turkey Run 2015, thank you from Two Guys Garage. How about that? Man, I'm telling you, a hot product to have out of the Daytona Turkey Run from Duragloss, their ultimate detail spray. It is quality stuff, man. Something everybody's looking for in the show car corral and where they're selling it. It's top notch. You know another hot product for the Turkey Rod Run? 
Yeah, Kevin. No. Wasn't there. <laughs> didn't happen. I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, look, man, this is definitely the stuff you want. It gives you that wet look finish that everybody's looking for. Yeah, you can put on your tires, you know, on your exterior trim, yeah. and great for that underhood detailing. You sure. go buy a used car, they pop the hood, and you're thinking, how does that look so good, man? Yeah, man. That's it, right there. Yeah, man. And much like Kevin, when he was younger, it resists multiple washings. I still so that do. way, yeah, that way you could have it on there for a long period of time. Yeah, what's nice too, it's got that nice melon scent, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's good for me, but it's yes. also good for my car. It there smells you go, nice, man. man. I get in it, looks good, smells <laughs> good. From Duragloss, it's our ultimate detail spray, available at Federated Auto Parts. All right, we use this product a lot. It's from Crown Performance. It's their stainless steel brake lines. These things meet all the DOT specs. They're pressure tested to 4,500 PSI. That means no volumetric expansion. What is that, Kev? That's right, man. Well, just like when you're a suspension, right? You put on mm -hmm. stiffer bushings. Tightens everything up, sure. brings the performance level to a higher level. Yeah. You tighten up your brake system because when you push that pedal, you want to clamp right on that binder. You don't want your, you know, your hoses flexing and swelling and yeah. having a whole bunch of soggy feeling. Yeah. You tighten them up with five layers of stainless and Kevlar versus kind of the cheapy lines, right? Where it just has an inner tube, a little bit of stainless on there mm -hmm. to look nice. This gives you all the durability the strength, the stiffness of all those layers so you have the performance right at your brakes when you touch that pedal, man. There you go, Crown Performance Stainless Steel Brake Lines. You know, it's cool, it doesn't matter whether you have a car, truck, SUV, whether you're running gas or diesel, yeah. Super Chips has you covered with their brand new Flash Pack F5. It's yeah. a handheld tuner, so it can you know, modify anything from all out performance or maybe you yeah, just want better towing, fuel economy. Now check this out. It's got a brand new 2.8 inch high resolution color screen, new on screen graphics, high speed processor. This thing gets you the data, gets you the upgrades fast, man. Yeah, and you can flip through the screen super easy. So you got stock, you got stock with options, you got mileage, you got tow performance. So nice. instantly you can download that particular tune and you're running, baby. Now it installs in minutes, there's no tools necessary. You gotta appreciate from Super Chips, it's their Flash Pack F. Five. Love that, right, man. man. All right. Speaking well, of minutes, yeah. we ain't got anymore. Wow. We're out of them. We're done. <laughs> well, look, we hope you appreciate the show. We hope you learned something, had some fun, got to see some great stuff at that Daytona Turkey Run. Sorry, bro. I did buy a car there. Let's go do some burnout. Yeah, let's go ride that charger, right. baby. You guys take care. See you next time. Two Guys Garage is brought to you in part by Federated Auto Parts. Best parts, best people, best service. Vehicle transportation provided by Pilot Transport, auto hauling specialists.